Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we will learn how we can create advanced banners to show in our customers' My Account page. We can use the banners to push our customers to specific actions, for example, leave a review for the products they have purchased, share a referral link, or complete their profile. Also, to encourage them to achieve specific goals, for example, a certain level, a total amount spent, or a total amount of points collected. Banners are a great way to engage the customers and help you build a gamification strategy in your shop. Now, before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel, and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! Ok guys, let's begin by going over to our plugin from G and we click on Points and Rewards. Now we need to go over to Points Options and click on Banners. Now from this section we will be able to see and manage all of our banners. But of course, since we have not created any yet, this is still empty. So let's go ahead and click on this button Create Banner to begin. And here I want to start by showing you the banner types. In this case with our plugin, let me open the selection here, you will find three different banner types. Simple, Target and Get Points. So in today's video, we're going to see some examples of each option so we can have a better idea of how each one works. Let's start with the simple banner. In this case, this type of banner does not have any dynamic actions, so it is a good option if you want to show your customers a simple message or a notification. Also, for this reason, here we're only going to find options related to the text and the colors. So let's go ahead with an example for a simple banner regarding free shipping. So let's begin with the banner name. In this case, we can enter here any simple name to easily identify our banner later on inside the banner list. So for example, we can enter here free shipping. Then let's go ahead with the title and here I'm going to enter this message. Free shipping on orders over $100. And also I want to add promotion valid until January 31st. Now let's continue with the next field. Over here, we're going to find banner image. So we can decide whether we want to include an icon or an image to go with this banner. Let's see an example. Let's click over here. I'm going to select this image, we'll just add it. There we go. And now let's go ahead with the banner colors. From here, we can customize the colors for the background, for the title and for the text. So let's go ahead and see, for example, the background. We can change it to something like a blue, like that. Perfect. Now we're ready with this first banner, so let's save all our changes. And now we're ready to go to the front end to see the result. Here we are inside my account page, so let's go ahead to our My Points section. And from here, if we go over to this tab, Targets to Achieve, we're going to find our simple banner. As you can see, it has all of the information we have configured, our message, our image and the background color. Now that we have seen this first type of banner, let's go back to our plugin so we can see the examples for the second type. Ok, now we're going to click here, Add Banner, to create our next example. In this case, for the banner type, we're going to go ahead with the second option, Target. And as you can see, when we select this option, this new field appears below, Action Type, which is related to the extra points rules, because in order to create this type of target banner, we need to enable and configure some extra points rules that we will then promote using this banner. So before we can configure these options, we need to first go ahead to our extra points tab and configure some rules. Let's begin, for example, with this option. Let me find it right here. Extra points for amount spent. In this case, to configure the rules, all we need to do is click here to enable it and then set the rule. For example, over here, we want to assign for every $250 that the customer spends, we want to give them 50 points. That's perfect. Now let's find another example over here. Enable points incentive on total collected points. Again, we enable it. And in this case, we're going to set that for every 500 points that the customer has, we're going to assign a total of 25 additional points. And finally, we can also enable this option, extra points for users that achieve specific levels. One more time, we enable it. And in this case, we're going to assign 50 points for all the users that achieve 
this level, gold. Now we're ready with our rules, so let's go ahead and save the options. Okay, now we can go back to banners. And now, since we have enabled three extra points rules, we're going to create three different target banners examples. So let's begin with the first one, clicking here on this button. And for the first example, we can begin with the points for amount spent. Then we need to make sure that we have selected the target type in this field. And now if we take a look at the action type field, let's open the selection. Here, we're going to find the three extra points rules we have enabled the points of next level, the extra points for points collected, and the one that we're going to use now, the extra points for amount spent. So actually what the plugin will do is take the information from the extra points and apply it to the banner. Now, if we continue with the banner title and the banner text, if we notice over here, we have a default title option and a default text. In this case, the plugin already has these options with some placeholders that you can use to display the messages for these fields. So all we need to do is copy and paste this information in these fields and the plugin will do the rest. Now let's continue with the banner image. We can also add one for this example. I'm going to select this one. We add it. And finally, we move on to the banner colors. Again, let's modify the background. We can decide on kind of like a light orange, something like that. And we can also change the color of the title. For example, like that, perfect. And once again, we can save the banner and we go now to our My Account. Once again, we need to go over to our Targets to Achieve tab and right over here, we're going to find our new Target Type banner. Get 50 points when you spend $250. Additionally, for this banner, we can also include a progress bar right here to display our customer's progress to achieve this particular target. Let's enable it from our plugin. Here, all we need to do is scroll down to find our option right here, show progress slider, and all we need to do is enable it. Also, if you want to, you can customize the colors for this bar, but I'm going to leave them as they are. So let's go ahead and update. And once again, we go back to see the result. Now let's see. And over here, we can find the progress bar for our banner. As you can see, it is already showing how much I have already spent. In this case, I have spent $76 out of the 250 that I need to spend to earn the 50 additional points. Now let's go back to our plugin so we can continue with the other two examples for this type of banner. Here, once again, we're going to click on this button, add banner to create our next example. For the banner name, I'm going to enter this time upgrade level. Then we have already here selected the target banner type. And then if we move on to the action type, I'm going to work this time with the points of next level. So this option that we have here. Next, if we continue with the banner title and the banner text theme, as I did before, I'm going to just copy and paste the default options that we have available right here. But of course, this will be entirely up to you. You can also decide to enter in these fields your own custom message. Now, again, I also want to include an image. So let's go to upload. I will select this one. And finally, let's customize the banner colors for the background. This time, let's go with a light blue like that. Perfect. And we finally save the banner. Now, before we see the result for this example, let's go ahead and create our final one. So we go back to our banner list. We click on add banner and we proceed same as we have done. For the banner name, I will enter points collected. We have here the target type. And now for the action type, let's open the options and we select extra points for points collected. Once again, let's simply copy and paste these options for the title and the same for the banner text like that. And this time I'm not going to include an image, but we can customize the background colors. We open here and we go again, kind of like a super light orange, something like that and we're ready. One more time, we save the banner and we can go now to see the final result for our three examples on the target type banner. Okay, we go now to our targets to achieve tab and if I scroll down, we can find our three target type banners. Just like we configure them, we have the first one regarding the total amount spent, then the second one to upgrade to the next level and finally the banner regarding the extra points for the total of points collected. Now that we have seen these examples for the target type, let's go back to our plugin so we can see the final type available, the Get Points banner. 
The last type is the Get Points banner. In same as for the target banners, this type is also related to the extra points rules in which the users need to do specific actions to get points. So before we can go ahead with our examples for this type, we need to go back to the extra points tab and enable a couple of rules. The first one that I'm going to enable will be this one, extra points for reviews. In this case, we're going to go ahead and enable it and now we're going to set that for every one review, it will be equivalent to two points. And as you can see over here, there is also this checkbox that says repeat. What this means is that if we select this option for every one review that the user leaves, they will receive two points. But if it is not selected, then the user will only receive two points once for one review. Now, for this example, we can go ahead and leave it selected. And then we're also going to enable this other rule, extra points for referrals. In this case, after it is enabled, we can assign points to our customers if another user registered using their referral link. So for these customers, we're going to award five points for each new user. Now we're ready over here to save the options and go back to our banners tab to create the first example. So once again, we click over here and I will begin with the example of getting extra points for leaving a review. So we begin with the banner name. In this case, I'm going to enter leave review. Then we continue with the banner type that we need to select in this case, get points. And for this type, we're also going to find the action type field. And over here, same as before, we're going to find all of the extra points rules that we have enabled related to getting extra points. In this case, we have refer a friend and leave a review. Again, we're going to begin with this option. So we select it and below we can also find this new field, products to show. In this case, we can enter the maximum number of products that the user can review to earn the extra points. So over here, we can enter, for example, three. Now we continue with the banner title and the text, which same as we have done for all the previous examples, we're going to copy and paste the default options the plugin has available for us. So we just copy and we enter it here. That's perfect. Now we can continue with the banner image if you want to. In this case, I'm going to leave it empty. And finally, for the banner colors, let's go ahead one more time and change the color. In this case, something like a blue. That's it. Now we save it and we're going to go back to the banner list so we can click over here to create our very last example. So we go ahead and click on add banner and we enter the name, in this case, referral link. One more time, we need to select the type get points and over here in action type, we have already selected the refer a friend option. Now we complete the banner title and the banner text. Just like we have done, you can see how easy it is to complete this with the default options available, only copy and paste. Then I also want to include an image for this banner. I'm going to select this one, we add it. And finally, for the banner colors, I'm going to leave them as they are. Let's go ahead and save the banner. So we can go now one more time to see the final result with all of our banners. Now, inside the My Points section of my account, we're going to find over here a new tab, Get Points. So let's go inside and we're going to find here the two Get Points banners we have created. First, we have here the Leave a Review, where it indicates the customer how many points they can get for leaving the product reviews. And also, as you can see over here, the plugin will include the products the customers have purchased with a link to leave the review and earn the points. And finally, over here, we find the Refer a Friend banner, indicating that the customer can get five points for each user registered by clicking on the referral link. And as you can see over here, it will also show automatically the referral link. So all the customer needs to do is copy and share it. As you can see, there is a wide variety of options for you to create and configure banners to encourage your customers to take actions in your shop to keep earning points. All thanks to our plugin, Give WooCommerce Points and Rewards. Well guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.